Okay, well in this video we're going to have a look at how to add an item into the K2 content construction kit within Joomla. And the first thing you need to do is to go to your administrator screen and log in. So we're just going to log in here and then your admin administration screen will come up and as you will see here uh, K2 when it's installed actually comes up below uh, the other areas for uh, Joomla itself. Now that's only when you first log in. Um, if you are in Joomla or anywhere else at any time you can simply go to the K2 area by um, hovering over the components and then clicking on the K2 component so which which is what we're going to do now. So here we are at the K2 dashboard. It's uh, to add a, uh, an article uh, or an item as they are called in K2. It's simply a matter of clicking on items and then on the top here we click on new. So this is the same procedure whether you're adding a blog post or whether you're adding an article to your site. Uh, for the purpose of this exercise we're actually going to add a, a blog post because there's just a slight amount more work involved in it. Um, so we're just going to call this um, a blog post a test item. Uh, we won't worry about the alias. The, the alias will actually turn out to be test item because that's what the title is. The benefit of using the alias is um, that if you have a very long title you can actually take out fours and a's and these and things like that and just make the title alias quite uh, short. Uh, the tags uh, we're going to use uh, testing. Um, uh, this is a test uh, which are basically keywords or uh, indications that the article falls under uh, but not not specifically in, into a category. Not essential but certainly worthwhile because they can help with searches. Uh, published is automatically uh, tagged as yes. Uh, featured we're not going to worry about at this stage and select the category. It's just a matter of using the drop down box and we're going to go down to the news area, news category and select latest news as being the category for this particular item. Here is your um, WYSIWYG or um, uh, word processing area where you add your content. It's simply a matter of typing the information in there exactly as you would a word processor by hovering over any of the item icons here. They will tell you exactly what they do um, and what I'm going to do here is just uh, copy in some uh, dummy lipsum text that I uh, prepared earlier. Uh, I'm going to put a uh, an enter. Um, where, where are we now? There uh, to create another paragraph, and that article, for all intents and purposes, is complete. If you wanted to add a um, uh, a photo, well, then have a look at the uh, the. It's exactly the same for adding photos and Joomla articles, and and there's already a video on that aspect. Um, now with a blog post, of course you don't want to see the whole post on the page because it takes up more room. So what we normally do is we put in a read more link and to do that is simply a matter of putting the mouse at the end of the uh, paragraph here and going down here to the read more uh, icon, clicking on that and you'll see that it puts a horizontal line there in the, uh, in the article which is where it will be split for the uh, when it appears on the page. The next thing that you need to do is over here in the metadata information, um, which is your description. You've got 156 characters that need, will appear in Google underneath the title, and very, very important to put this uh, this description in. So we'll just say this is a test article in K2 to show how it works and that'll do for the purpose. Keywords, keywords are really not used by the search engines anymore um, and you've certainly got your tags in there. You can put them in if you want to. Uh, test article, uh, this is a test. Uh, some people go right over the top, there's no need to do so. Um, you can stick to about five. We won't worry about robots here or the author. Uh, and apart from that, that's, that's basically all that you need to know for adding an article uh, for from a simple simple perspective. So what we'll do now is we'll apply the article. Uh, um, if you apply it, it saves the article and leaves this window open. 
if you save it, it saves the article and closes this window and takes you back to the K2 dashboard for the items area. So we'll apply it at this stage so that we can see what the article looks like. So we'll just apply that now. Okay, you'll see here that the uh, read more link has come up a lot more intense that you can see it. Uh, and now we'll go across to the site itself um, and over onto news and latest news click on there and there we've got our article latest news one this hasn't been formatted at this stage a lot of this can be done but the test item there uh, that I wrote it and then the first paragraph before the read more link and where it's published the tags uh, comment link and read and the read more link which can all be changed around so we can either click on the uh, link which is the title or we can click on the read more link to take us to the full page of the article so we click on the read more link and you'll see there that the um, text area that was highlighted on the category page the actual blog page appears in in bold and bigger and then it goes on to show people the other parts of the article that they haven't read uh, following down shows you the number of times read there's a whole lot of other information that can be used there the author's information other information and people can add comments to it and all that can be changed um, for articles and also for blog posts within K2 so effectively that's all there is to adding an item in in uh, K2 for Joomla and uh, if there are any questions by all means don't hesitate to get in touch with me thank you